Knowledge transfer is very important, especially when you have employees that have been with you for a long time and they are the one who developed the process or the knowledge. And really there is nobody else in the organization or in the company that can actually take over or do what they do. So my advice is always to look over the people that you have in your company and, and think about who, if they left, would live with their knowledge and what impact will it have on your business? And it can be also you, it can be yourself. If you want to actually get out of the business, be in a position when you can work on the business and not in the business, but you are holding all that knowledge, it is important to do that knowledge transfer. So I really look at knowledge transfer also as risk mitigation, right? Because if you have certain employees in the company that are holding all the knowledge or if you are holding all the knowledge, then if something happens, then there is a lot of risk. Also, if you want to sell or when you have a company that you want to merge into or you are merging into yours and there is all this knowledge, you want the, the knowledge to be blended. But if it's not documented, then you're really not going to know how to do that. It doesn't have to be as drastic of an example or as it doesn't have to be as big as actually merge. It can be simply hiring an employee that they're, they're coming with their knowledge. But if your knowledge is not very well defined, then it will be hard for that employee to blend their knowledge with yours. But if yours is very well defined and they're, they are coming in with their knowledge, then you can really have a great combination and just succeed from there.